There are some memories she can't seem to shake. 71 years after tragedy struck Hiroshima, Miyako Yano has retold her story many times of how one day she stayed home with a stomach ache while her friends went to work in the city. She escaped the blast, but not the horror. I remember their swollen faces. You could barely see their eyes. Their clothes were blown off. They were badly burned. Their skin was hanging off from their hands, but dropping their hands was too painful, so they raised them like this. People walk around like ghosts. On August 6, 1945, a U.S. plane dropped the world's first atomic bomb on Hiroshima, killing more than 140,000 people. Many in the U.S. believed the attack and that on Nagasaki forced Japan's surrender and saved American lives. But the devastation and effects of radiation have scarred Japan. The arrival of a U.S. president to Hiroshima's Peace Park is hugely symbolic. Obama will pay his respects here, but won't apologize. But survivors in Hiroshima don't think it's necessary. Sinao Tsuboi believes his visit is enough. It was an unfortunate time in history. We've been through hell, but many Americans died as well. If you take that into account, there is no way I'm going to demand an apology. What's more important is what we're going to do now. Now the U.S. and Japan are united in their concerns for the future. Both nations share alarm over nuclear missile tests in North Korea and China's military expansion. But here, the message will be of peace and how fragile it remains in a world still armed with nuclear weapons.